Hello, this is Dr. Jason Kim from Pacific Modern Dentistry, and today I'm here to demonstrate how you can make a cross-polarizing filter at home. Uh, a cross-polarizing filter can be very useful when you're taking dental photographies. It reduces the glare within the uh, photos so that you can get actually the true shade of the object that you're trying to take. So here we're going to need a couple of things. We're going to need like a um, different sorts of knives and then uh, tape, some rulers so you can cut and measure. And also the most important thing is you're going to have to have a polarizing filter. And this is a sheet of paper from Roscoe you can buy off of Amazon for um, fairly uh, uh, an expensive price. And um, this is how you make the cross polarizing filter. First, you want to look at your uh, flash configuration for your macro uh, dental photography. In this case, I, I use a, um, this uh, ring holder with uh, twin flashes. So I'm going to measure the diameter of this circle here and also um, the size of these two uh, rectangles. And I'm going to cut the films and I'm going to just stick them on to the surfaces. The important thing is when you're doing this, you have to have the two filters at a 90 degree angle. They have to be perpendicular in order to actually cut out the glare within the photo. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some measurements and mark and then um, cut and I'm going to show you how you guys can actually paste that. So let's here, let's go over here. This measure is out to be about 102 millimeters, which is about 10 centimeters. And this is just a circular um, cutting um, knife that you can actually measure and this is actually set to 10 centimeters here and what you want to do is you're going to take this and what I do is I actually am going to mark here I'm just going to put two dots here or three okay just like that and I'm going to take it like this a nice circle like this, and before I take it off, make sure I know where my mark is. Okay, that's there. And then I'm gonna measure this here. And this is six by three centimeters. So I'm gonna actually cut the rectangle, but I wanna cut it in a way so that when I align it, it's going to be 90 degrees. So I'm going to measure from here to here. And there we have, oh, I'm going to cut a little bit more here. Uh, just as a reference for myself, I'm going to put the uh, dotted line here to align with this little um, push pin here. And I'm going to put some hot glue gun on the inner surface of this so I can stick my um, film in there. And you Now that we have that, now we want our flashes, the twin flashes, to be perpendicular to this. So you can actually mark it so uh, with the white out, and this is where I want my um, flashes to be positioned. I'm just going to see if I can use a little bit of the white out here. Just mark it here. Like that. And then mark it here like this. With this, I'm going to um, position this so that um, when I put these on, it's going to be at a 90 degree angle, okay? So I'm going to stick these on here as well, and you can do this with actually a little bit of tape. Once you've got all these uh, filters on here, you can um, put these on the flash like this. And when you put these on, make sure you put them exactly where you put the white spots, just like that. 
Yeah. Well, there you have it. This is how you create a cross-polarizing filter uh, mounted onto your camera to reduce the glare off the surface of the object you're trying to photograph. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Dr. Jason Kim at Pacific Modern Dentistry. Until next time.